No problem is solved by running away. Find your own stones and be a man. He's right. You came forward without always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if the risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? Here come comes front uh, us. Um... Uh, maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flabusted now. I'm totally flag bag. Flag bag. The flaps us? Oh, gross. Where'd you come from? Wait, did I say Jill? Where'd you come from? You called for me. Hello, hello, it's a wonderful. But it's being here to greet you with the razor sharp smile. <laughs> come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to bring a pickaxe. No, you sleepy imbecile. The pickaxe. Sleepy imbecile! Oh, master! You helmed me with excessive level brass! <laughs> Here comes the bloody nose! S uh, seriously, though, did you forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest! Two fat asses, we need it! Great old memory factory! Mr. Mary didn't carry the switch. Possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Mm, yes, yes! Ah, the light bulb just went on! And that's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> All right, we solved the mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. One more mystery. Hmm. Yeah, Moon, you figure out the identity of Object X. So, um... Now, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, did he already forget what we were supposed to be looking for? You gotta be kidding! I'm not messing up on my life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What did you find? <laughs> mm -hmm. You Did you hear me? I said a corpse! A corpse? Yep. That's right, I found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden? What, oh god. What did you say? Well then, before we enter the headmaster office, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on. We're going to the garden. Okay, honestly, I think the headmaster would be better. Oh no. Oh. I saw someone lying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife buried in the stomach up in the hilt. What the? Are you really dead? For sure, but who is it? Just to make things clear. Last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask, and whoever it was, they're now all dead. I don't know, but they're laying dead in front of me. Mm, <laughs> don't you think it's hanging out here? No way! They are really dead. Is this really a dead body? What? You need to begin looking ar around right away. However, be careful. There's no telling what you might find. I don't know the actual tech was, but there's no way to deal with the mask in the face of that. And the white coat that wearing makes it impossible to tell anyone about it itself. Victim is a total mystery, but one thing I do know... This is whoever it is they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How they wind up dead in here? Hmm. Their heart isn't beating. They're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a blood red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that there is is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get it on you. Um... How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body's all hidden, so I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure it's a girl at least. Huh? huh? How can you tell? No. Well, I think I see the outline of her chest and it's just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. That could be- <laughs> Okay then! Yes! Let's just tear the mask off! Come on! Wait, don't! By the time you call it out, this is already too late. So like shut towards the mask, and the next instant... There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up! It blew up, it blew up, it blew up, blew up, blew up, blew up. Well, fudge. I can't pass out, but then... Come on. Hurry up, put out the fire! As so I just stepped full back, the voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed into my hands. It was a bucket of water. Come on, dump the water. Okay. Did you have the body fire? Took aim and toss the fire soon. 
Like it was enough to put out the fire. It did. It did die down, laying behind unpleasant smell of burning. I guess I took care of that. Uh, what the hell, man? It huh? exploded. What? What did I you had say? a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body. What? It's burnt to a crisp. That's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to steak. I'd never be able to eat a steak again. But no, the body's trying to really have no idea. Or are we going to find out who it was? Hmm. Who isn't here right now? Hmm? What? If we consider who's not here, then just quickly narrow down who it must be. Um... There's only one person missing. Um... It's Kyoto. Then the dead body. No, that's not it. Calm down, I didn't say it was. But... But, I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. In other words... The Mastermind. <laughs> what? 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 The Mastermind? <laughs> Come on, there's no way the Mastermind got charred boiled Get serious. <laughs> I agree, normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have reason to believe it may be true. The Mastermind being dead would explain the other matter, wouldn't it? You could hardly move around if the Master is dead, right? But... But the corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, what Ultra Ego said. Same person may well be Mastermind to find out. In the current cause, Mastermind is man in his late 30s. It's possible that somewhere is right now. What the heck? So the Mastermind is some in mid aged dude, right? Which corpse is it? That could mean the Mastermind isn't the headmaster. Is the teenager girl the ultimate despair? Uh -huh. Is a 16 student a hopeless peak? What? What are you talking about? The other day, I took a firm to me. She said that there was a 60 student here in the school. What? I think you better tell us everything you know. Well, I'll go tell me it was. Mikuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. The mastermind. Hey, master is the mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? I don't have any proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. I see. There's another student here, and it's it's a female that would match the body characteristics. So, um... And the phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds like a super mastermindy, doesn't it? Could it be? Okay, so the mastermind's a girl, and the student here, she's the ultimate despair. But if she's hidden here, the school is too bigfoot. But she wind up burnt to crisp. None makes sense, it's just a show of die! I think we better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Ah, uh, oh, hey, wait! What? What? Um... Aren't we forgetting about something, you know, Toko? What? What? We actually totally blew up, huh? Hm. Forget about her, I'm sure the explosion evaporated her. Uh. Oh, she survived, of course she did. Oh, she survived. Uh. Uh. What happened, Master? Stop talking. You declare your whole world to hear what you would never hear again. Inhale a single molecule of oxygen. Oh, then <laughs> you don't mind breathing in carbon dioxide if you exhale. That's enough for me to live. What the heck? It's a strange back and forth I've ever seen. So, Watch yourself. Um... You may be dead, but she's still a girl. Don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body at all that much. That's interesting. There's something on the ground there. It doesn't want me to look at the body yet. It's it's a key. But what did you so... see? A key. Okay, so it's shaped like this. Yeah. This is anything like it. Looks like the data key. What? What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? Even you don't seem to know then. Hmm. I'm not going to give you a very I'm going to give you a very important task. Hmm? I see. The key might have access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean So in other words The bio lab, the data center, the headmaster rooms, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So I'm your errand boy now. Let's give it a shot. 
click. It fits. He's the data center. Man, should knock the data center. I guess it's all running hit off. That's what we go tell everyone. Let me head back to the garden room. So you're back. How did it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center down on the fourth floor. That we can get to the data center now. I see. Interesting. But why did they now decrease have your key on them? Hmm. I suppose we'll have to go to the data center and find. Yeah, I think you're right. Hmm. Here we are. Looks like the door is still unlocked. Um. Hey, so when you open the door, there's not going to be another huge kaboom like before, right? Um. Uh, ask that question now. <laughs> Don't worry. I have to tell. What? In other words, it's in your hand again. Hmm. It means I trust you. It's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. No, I don't think so. Holy cow. That's strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was lurking behind the surface. The room was filled with all kinds of dread. What? What? Hey, that's... Looks in a trembling hand and pointed. Look at the monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Oh, that's the place section of the school. The dorms and the classrooms. Each part of the school was covered. This is... What? This is the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room. And they now display it here on the monitors. So that's it. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. To watch us? Then this room is it's all clear. The mastermind's private room without a doubt. Doesn't make sense. Watching us. <laughs> I think that settles it. Huh? Hmm. The body in the garden. They had it, the key to this room, it clearly means one thing. Okay. His body moon, and she was the mastermind. Oh. The mastermind is dead. Like, really, really dead. <laughs> it would seem so. What? What? For serious? <laughs> it's too bad we had to go and die before Master could kill them himself. The mastermind is dead. Could that really be true? Does this mean it's all over? Because I mean, that body. Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die in natural death. So who was it? But, but if the mastermind is really dead, Whoa! that means we're finally out of this hellhole. Got hurt, but find the exit. Come on. That's enough. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh? Huh? But what about the exit? Hmm. If the mastermind's truly dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, <laughs> we need to find out why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. <laughs> and I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. <laughs> murdered? So you think that too, huh? Naturally. Naturally. Hmm. The status of the body makes it plain as day. There was absolutely no doubt. The mastermind had, was murdered. But why? Why does it gotta be that way? I mean, it could have been. I would have done it. Such ignorance. That's exactly why I need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, you. You understand. You useless insect, you banned from talking to Mister ever again. That's our purpose and why they've ever been killed. The room was full of the answers. After all, the mastermind has spent who knows how much time in here. <laughs> okay then, let's begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the mastermind. Bunch of computers lined up. They all look like how performance PCs, nothing like an ancient laptop. Ultra Ego was installed on. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. So, we can't do anything. Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. Huh? What century are you from? Master, I must have been using these monitors to monitor the network and alter ego. Hmm. You may well be right about that. What? But there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. There's a ridiculous number of monitors here. That's mine. has been using them to spy on us. As long as I have this. Hmm? Look at Master Go. It's like a feast for the eyes. How much money the membership. This is Doris Kankiri. It's a picture of the 
bear on it. What could be inside? Rattle, rattle. No luck. Um... The door is locked. Hmm. What if you use the key to open it? Let's give it a try, just in case. Nope, no good. It won't even fit in the keyhole. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. But it's not gonna do me any good. Gone, so nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing showing up on this one. Hmm. Hey, look, next to that TV. It's a TV antenna. How about that? It is one of my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high def antennas. Wait, if we hook it up TV, then we can watch TV. Huh? Did someone say TV? You know? Well, Saturday morning. Hmm. You're talking about me. Okay. Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on. You know? Oh, you're also start for info from the outside world, huh? Hmm. Alright, let me work my magic. Quantum leap your way to TV before you know it. I guess this reference, but what are you talking about? You know? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Huh? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What's wrong? Hmm. Good news, all you Saturday morning kiddos out there. I think I got the TV working. <gasps> really? Hmm. Now we just gotta do is switch it on. What? Then do it. Uh, you get it, mastermind. All oh, you guys need to cut free from your regrets for the outside world. What the heck? I'm sitting here watching TV the whole time, they really thought they could get away with it. Well, there's not gonna be any signals. Huh? This this is mm. the feed coming from saving it's coming out of your room, the isn't heck? it? Huh, that's weird. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Hmm. <laughs> You're weird. Weird in every way possible. How not just weird, super weird. But, but this TV is hooked up to anything but the antenna. How would it show the camera feed? Well. Did you try changing the channel? Uh. Oh, good idea. Let's give it a try. Your channel one by one. Your channel was just us. It was live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? Uh, what the heck? Hmm. Is it broken or something? Could it be? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Something <sighs> weird set up. A trick? Hmm. What kind of trick? Actually, I'm not sure, but. Uh huh? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? 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 Hmm? What? It's been a while, you freaking buggers! You're supposed to be dead! Me dead? Don't be freaking stupid! Hey, you're acting kind of strange, something seems different! Of course! I'm different, evolutionary is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Not even, it's been like half a day at most! Oh, how are you alive again? Oh yeah, that's it. The look on your faces right now, it's sublime. That's why I wanted to see the moment you went from hope to despair. <laughs> Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all this moment. <laughs> why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should be pretend... You should pretend to be dead when you see this bear. I mean, it's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now. Ha ha ha. And that's it. I well, almost forgot. Time to cut off your past. So full of hope. And let's begin to despair at the future ahead of you. You want me to grant you more fun in this killing game? Can you be serious? We have to keep going. No, we're here. supposed to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. And besides, this life isn't all that bad, you know? I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. <laughs> serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? Oof, I pooped from all the laughing. Guess I'll get to the point then. To the point? Um, you guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed, that TV is the essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding the secret of some kind. What the heck? But I connected to the antenna, so why isn't it showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the antenna. Live now. Well, now, let's go let you out to blood gushing secret I'll tell you about. <laughs> the TV is absolutely found out displaying the signal coming out in on the antenna. Huh? huh? What does this mean? It's display the signal, but it's just us standing here. Unbelievable. Ugh, you're so stupid. You don't get it. Fine, I'll tell you. Chills, chills, the killing game is chills. being broadcasted live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. What? Extreme. The killing game is being broadcasted live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it. I don't know what I'm supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the world. I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. Huh? 
What? Broadcasted live to the entire world? What kind of joke is this? It's, it can't be. Have they taken over the airways somehow? Oh, the camera no. feeds me broadcast and no, it's impossible. <laughs> oh, that kind of overcast is major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that. All you need is one weird trick and found it, and hacking the airways is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? Of course! Took my own mind. I can put toss in the ocean again. Hey, um... Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those YouTube tablets, and all the school's mysteries. Even me lurking you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all captivated audience to show them true despair like they've never seen before. I became the director of the Despair Base production. This is the ultimate reality show, the best in despair entertainment. You're lying, if this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. Um, er, yeah, there's no way we would have tried to come to rescue us. Actually, what if they already did, huh? Yes, indeed. But then again, I'm not really any of their business, right? Sure, some of you might yell at the TV to try and help warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Don't think that's possible. I don't know who personally thought, though. This can't order. be. To take control of all the communications like this, you need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep. So how could things have come this far? Well, <laughs> that's the secret. That's something you'll need to need to, to do first. Remember what? Of course. Yeah. Duh. It's a little business of a body has been found. A body has been discovered after a certain amount of time. Class trial? Do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Monokuma file! Heart pounding Okay, this excitement. is gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. So you have a heck of a ride. Can't, can't wait, can't wait! We stood there for I don't know how long frozen place. I couldn't think. I could even had... Just keep myself stand up right. Uh -huh. I don't understand any of this. What's the spare entertainment? And how is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that we had finally, finally could get out of here. Yeah. And plus, what did you say about a class trial? Stop talking. Well, that part is obvious. The class trial is a trial, which means at this point we have to figure out who the culprit is. We have to figure out who killed oh. Kito. What? What the heck? What are you talking about? <laughs> The victim was female, right? Could you fulfill his like, condition? I mean, he was still alive and active. That means the mastermind isn't dead. So naturally, the body belongs to her. So it must be her. There's no other possibility. The body is Kito. No, it's not because there, she's not wearing her gloves. That's not. She's not wearing gloves. Because because I don't know anything about it yet. But she really is, and to end the end. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe Quiet. it. Whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. You refuse to believe it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? <laughs> anyway, we better get going. But... but aren't we going to have a class trial? That means the killer... That's right. Correct. It must be someone participating in the school life. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying the one who killed Kito? <laughs> well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? Huh? But you just said... Stop I don't have time to explain them. There's a uh, verbal mountains of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> so I'm going to begin my search. If you value your own lives, you put everything ever to this. This is how the game works, after all. It's an explosion. The victim's identity is unknown. There were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been spat a single stabbed a single time with the knife which went completely through the body. They'd also been struck in the head, they've also been struck through the head of the object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. And the heat of light doesn't tell us who the actual victim was. I thought it could be there, or... No choice but to investigate. Play on the ground. Is this 
Must be the knife that was stuck in the body before it exploded. The force of the explosion must have torn over. Turn it up. Knife went all the way through the body from back. Must be a vital injury. Or just knife. It looks familiar. Wait, is this? Yes, it is. It's nice to use the sad mask my ticket here. When they got attacked, I was kind of a trance. Maybe I reacted in by grabbing the knife. Then maybe then I I No, that's not possible. Bug fingernails. Oh, these are fig nails, and they're really long. Good timing, I wanted to talk to you. You want to talk to about? So in other words, I'd like to hear your alibi. Alibi? In other words. Correct, I'd like to hear where you were after the night time before last night. Um, I was sick, so I went to sleep all night. So that's why I'm asking about that, and that's what night time got to do with it? Naturally. Isn't it obvious this murder took place after night time? How can you know that for sure? Hmm. Because just after night time began, I came to the garden. I was going to look around for everyone, or I could tell them about this. Been spending most of their time in the garden in the last few days, so I figured I'd find her here. And I can confirm that when I arrived last night, there was no body here. Word. So the murder could have only taken place at some point during nighttime after I left the garden. Hover. in the gym together the entire last night. What? Hmm. There we go. Once I found you in the garden, we immediately went to the secret room to get him. At that point, we were all in the gym and began dismantling that. And as a precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere near, go anywhere alone. We made two bathrooms and piles. In other words, all four of us were airtight alibis. The only one who doesn't have an alibi are me and Kira. That's right. If you have, and if the big was really Kato, then the only one without an alibi. Hmm. Also, when, when we went to get to him, we stopped by your room as well. But you never came to the door, so where were you? Precisely where were you? I'm telling the truth, this the room. I was dead asleep, I had a fever, so... That's hardly an alibi. I know. <laughs> so, what now? You seem to be quite the disadvantage here. <laughs> Do you remember how the body looked? You know, before it blew up. Um, I'm, I remember, right? There's red hair. He's wearing some kind of red mask and white body. Also, there's a knife stick out of the stomach area with sketch blood. Apparently, the wound had 
stopped bleeding, but the body was still wet. So not to touch it and avoid getting bloody. But for how much blood there was on the body, I didn't see any of it on the ground. Okay. Wow, thanks. That was a big help. Now I you totally explain you remember how it looked. Well, having to talk about it like that, that would help me remember it a lot better too. So thank you too. Uh, it's 11 o'clock right now. Okay, and? So serious. Oh, well, I was just thinking about when we first found the body. I was huh? Should look back at the morning to help me remember that. The morning puts a gem in one's way. It's a little past after nine. Hmm. You know? Hmm. Does this b b b body belong to whoever it is? I'm not going to look. I don't want to faint anymore. I count four chickens. Four? There was five. Yo. What's going on? I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens there were in here? Mm. Of course, there were precisely five. Yeah, right. Huh? huh? What's wrong? There's four. Oh, huh? Oh, and they just I uh, was just down here before nighttime last night, and there were definitely five chickens then. What? What's going to do? We're going to do five to four. This is going to have an impact on the structure of the world. It's like jigsaw puzzle, a single piece. Oh, okay, okay, you're done. Something every morning, right? If the body was here before the spookers went on, it would have gone what? Which would, would mean the murder would have taken place. I'm gonna eat pepper plastic and people. Anyway, I don't think I can release the case, so I'm just gonna Wait, where did it start here? I'm supposed to look into that. It was wet and covered with mud and grind. But the underside was totally clean and completely dry. If you don't come up with an alibi, I'd rather be happy to hear later at the class trial. Oh no, it's not about that. You took the key to go to his room, right? I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can't let you take that risk. You're the prime suspect, after all. What? Of course, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. 
Then will you go with me? Hmm. Sorry, I have my own agenda to care first. Find me again later and we'll Goodbye. see. Depending on my mood, I may go with you or I may not. That one area. Where did we see this? You can go soon. Let's go. You wanted to check out who's right? Well, let's just go. Oh, wait for me. Hmm. Well, then, here we go. Hmm. And it's open. on the table. Decoration six. What? What's that? What purpose does it serve? I think it's possibly a key. The lockers in the room have a traditional public bathhouse used for them in the lockers. <laughs> I wanted to know. I never go to the public bathhouse. It seems surprising. It's hard to picture but you know. it's certainly possible. But if it is a key, I think we might not have to see unlocks. Really what? Unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure there's something that the dojo might as well. can't be serious, that's why you made me take my time out of my search to come here. Sorry. Regardless, if you plan to poke around at random, you're doomed no matter what, how much time you take. But surely something more concrete, something to give us some sort of direction here. It's true. Found it. What's in that envelope? Here it is. So if I ever have her, I should open it. Well, something has certainly happened, so open it. Okay. Under the sheets. What? That's all it was in there. Yeah, it looks like it. What's this? Class number 78, student registry. I see. It appears to be the profile. Yeah, it looks like it. It's probably the other thing is who stole while she snuck into Headmaster's room along with the key. This 
to the plank that I was talking about. Hmm. I don't have time for your sentimental indulgences. Hurry up finish your search. Okay. The ultimate soldier. Although small for her legs, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. She showed an interest in military from childhood, and as soon as they found herself completely absorbed in it. In elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and began writing for military magazines. Just open just before entering middle school, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japanese media allies. An intense international investigation turned up no information and she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later alone and completely unannounced. She rivaled that she had joined a, men a mercenary group known as Fyrir for three years. She says that she had been kidnapped and that she received battle training for her own violation. Okay. However, she did it. She never revealed why she decided to return home when she did. An ultimate soldier, a mercenary group. Doesn't feel real. The world I grew up in, it's like a completely different dimension. It's like the one non-fiction and the other is sci-fi. There's no way to ever compare this to. How different is this? That is how I saw things as just an ordinary person. But then, I, see. I never imagined I would hear the name Kermer in this place like this. Can really you recognize Naturally. it? The Fermer's Corpse is a collection of battle-crazed war... Orgies. But they do have the uses, and they always get the job done, and that's worth remembering. It's all part of the world totally removed from our one life. Hmm. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor I've heard says for us already. Found it. Well, I feel like the hero is beginning to be a bit player and a bit... Uh, becoming a bit player, and a bit player is becoming our hero. Ah, it's you. Hmm, you have gone in your pretty little head there. Oh no, I, you found her profile. So what if we did? Hey, don't freak out on me, on I'm not now. gonna hold it against you or anything. In case you're wondering, I don't hold it against her either, even though she stole it and hid it. After all, there is no rule against stealing, is there? But who ca I can't forgive is who broke the rules and busted into the headmaster's room. Maybe I'll drag her corpse out here and slice it up and devour it. Bears are uh, omnivores, you know. What? Your rule, our rule violations really so unforgivable. You quite admit about those regulations of yours. Mm. Of course I am. A proper school life is built on dedication to organization and order. Which is why even I, as a school headmaster, have to follow the rule regulations myself. Oh, so you're saying you have to follow your own rules as well. Of course. Absolutely, I can't have you complaining about how unfair it is after now can I? In fact, on the subject of fairness, how would you like to know something interesting? Interesting? <laughs> it's about the new writing and the rules. They're actually one of the participants in the killing game. I don't think I actually ever told how many participants there are. Were actually were, did I? I was thinking I should probably clarify that. Hey, um. You were all the first together in the main hallway. Back when there were 15 people, right? I think the first message may have led you a little misunderstood amongst you all. So we're standing, you say. That's right. There weren't 15 of you. Yes, this total number of students take part in this killing game is actually 16. 16 then. Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, the one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. School life. Why? Why? Huh? Did you say something? <laughs> Why are you telling us this? Hmm. Oh well, because... Like I told you, the killing game is... disastrously popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings. And since I've got so many viewers now, I wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page. I don't want to wake up to a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know. Yes, indeed. Make sense? Well, now. Okay then, that's all. I'm gonna go in for now. Oh, actually, I do have some revenge to get. I have an extra bonus for you. Revenge. Yeah. I want to get back at that sneaky... Care girl, so I'm gonna share a little secret with you. Seriously, hey, um... you know how she wears those stupid gloves all day in and day out all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but <laughs> she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. What? <laughs> now, that's all you get. <laughs> this is 
it's not the girl. It's not her. Hmm. Are you thinking about her again? Hmm? What? Forget about her. What matters right now isn't covering this trap. This trap. Such ignorance. God must really hate you. To make you so dull. Hmm. Don't you remember what he was just told us? It's the 16 students, right? Which means it was this right. here. Obviously, he was trying to tell us the rule. Which is certainly what to create when creating the rules of the game. But why would he tell us that? And why now? He, he said he wanted to make things clear so as there wouldn't be any complaints later. But the mere fact that he said that proves that he's connected to this case. That's why he revealed the existence of the 16th student. He needs to make our investigation seem fair. He's ready to the case. Perhaps she's the one who killed. What? Hmm. That would explain why we would have access to a clue a class trial, wouldn't it? If she were a student and she killed someone, that would make her part of the killing game. Hmm. Anyone should be able to come up with that conclusion, don't you think? In fact, that's exactly what I thought when the investigation first began. What? But based on what he said, just told us, I've changed my it's mind. All clear now. Isn't the culprit? Hmm. Let me say that. Hmm. We're just sorry, the ultimate despair. She was a mastermind, true's identity. And if that were true, Min's behavior makes no sense. Why would the mastermind go out of their way to reveal themselves to us? It's a good point. So, in other words, giving us information that would raise questions about her would be bold, to say the least. It makes more sense than to assume that it isn't the culprit. So that's a trap. They want us to suspect the Lunu who came who can come to the wrong conclusion. Hmm. That is what makes sense to me. Hmm. Well then I don't believe I do believe our work here is finished. Let's move, I'm sure we have other places in need of investigation. We should find out the key to and the dojo are connected. Let's go. Well, are you coming? It is a key! Oh, that's really cool, actually. I see. Do you see the lock of farthest to your right? Very strange. That's the only one who doesn't have a key in it in that moment. You understand what that means, right? Probably should use the key to open the locker door. That's right. Well, try it. Okay. arrows in here. Like, ten arrows in total. <laughs> they look like they're made of titanium, which means they're quite strong despite how thin they are. Which, of course, without a bow, they're nothing but strong little sticks. Strong sticks. That's not a side locker. I see. If it is, then that means it must surely be related to the case. It's stuck tape is related to the case somehow, but how could it possibly be involved? It's very strange. strange. It's very odd, don't you think? The locker was hiding items that were clearly related to the case, but how did the key to the locker room wind up in the victim's room? Why? Or perhaps... Hmm. Forget it. Come on, we need to continue our next location. Hmm? What location? What? There's still someone, something we need to look into. We need to do more research on this. Isn't it obvious? The where in the school would you go to do research on something? The library, of course! Duh! But the archive. And that's right, the archive. All kinds of information in general public doesn't make Let's go. We only have so much time before the trial begins. Let's hurry. I believe there was a file to first somewhere over here. Hmm. Ah, here we go. I see. Take a look at this. Hmm, I have no idea what it says. What language is this? Hmm. How do you make it all the way to high school without learning a single word of French? Hmm. I'm pretty sure most high schools don't speak French. That is very true. 
<laughs> well, whatever, I'll read it for you. But I expect you to repay your debt a hundred times over. Hundred times over? That's kind of extreme. <laughs> it's an elite fighting group unit based out on the Middle East. Unlike military contractors, they are a fierce group of soldiers who engage in direct combat. They claim that a single member is equivalent to an entire company of regular soldiers, just like the Fenwar, the Wolf of Rogar, the mere premise is to strike fear into the enemy. They must be involved in countless military battles and operations, most of which are highly classified. However, some time ago, they completely ceased all activity. At present, their continued existence cannot be confirmed. They are unconfirmed reports that the key members of the group were all neutralized. Rumors indicate there was some. <laughs> ah. They're all cut that they were killed to keep them from revealing the many state secrets they acquired. Some, however, believe that they are selective. What? What is it? This sounds like some kind of alternate reality. <laughs> Well, isn't it? This is our reality. The only reality these people are part of our world. These battlefields aren't much different from our own lives. An unpredictable, imaginable world. What? That's what makes it also exciting. Sign definitely is the word I'd use. So I did anything to jump out at you. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh. You went for our comes from right? The wolf. <laughs> wolf of Ragnarok. Speaking of which. Would you like to know something interesting about related to that? Member of each team, each soldier who led towards the squad, would get a tattoo representing the wolf somewhere on the body. Time is utterly silent, and yet it constantly assaults us. Organisms, the earth, natural phenomena. It damages us little by little until the end. You should really think about that. Anyway, it's time to begin the class trial. So. <laughs> hmm. Then the time has come. All we can do now is recover the troop during the class trial. Right. It would seem that way. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, we showed up together. Uh, Where the heck were you two ten? We've just been disappearing if I <laughs> word. We've been investigating, of course. How could you figure out such point? Yeah! <laughs> right, yeah. Enough for you guys to go off together. Just you, the two of you. Huh? Why are you so jealous? Hey. You're making some kind of creepy fantasy for yourself. What? Stop talking. Embrace yourselves. He'll be here in a second. What's going on? Why hasn't he shown up yet? Could it be? Maybe he died again? Hmm. What should we do? Should we keep waiting here or. <laughs> or what? Oh, what? Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah, did I scare you? Come on. I demand an explanation. Why did you waste my time and make me wait here like that? Hmm? What? I made you wait? You've got all backwards. You're the ones making me wait. Huh? In other words. I'm waiting for everyone to arrive. We can't start till everyone's here, now can we? Huh? What are you t talking about? Everyone is here. We've all been waiting for, for you. <laughs> Sorry, but you're wrong. Yeah. I've been waiting ten minutes now, so it's okay if I won't punish you. The punish the one making us wait, right? If we all agree, it's a violation. I'll arrange the punishment right away. Is it me you're looking for? I'm here. Hey. Hey, I'm here. And there's no rules been broken. You're still alive? It's, it's a ghost. Stop talking. If you want to fight, do it to class trial. We need to save some fun for later, right? What? But it's okay that there's no particular penalty for being late. Is that right? I just made it here fine. What school regulation did I violate? Am I wrong? You're so selfish. You're so spoiled. You're right. There's no penalty officially, but I bet you're, s you're sorry you're late. Now, I'll make sure you'll... Sorry, later. So you really didn't die? Indeed. Of course I didn't die. 
<laughs> Thank God, I'm so glad you're okay. Hm. Perhaps, but it's not necessarily a good thing for us. That's right, I have to deal with a, a, a ghost. T told you to stop talking. Let's go. Come on, let us go. Whatever we need to discuss, we could do it at the trial. Uh, um. What? Listen, before we get started, I need to ask you some. Where have you been this whole time? We used the key of yours to go somewhere, didn't Correct. you? I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. The second floor? That's right. There ain't, aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I went to there to avoid it completely. Of course, I am also missing his announcement because of that. <sighs> I had no idea a body had been discovered. Then when did you find so... out? Just now, I finished my search and came back down just in time to hear the class trial announcement. I took some time to go over to the crisis at first. I couldn't go to trial for complete completely uninformed, can I? So that's why you were late. However, I'm sorry I kept you wait all waiting. For the second floor, but if I were on the second floor of the dorms, then that's what the key must have goes to. Wrong. Actually, to be precise. Not quite. In other words, it, I use the secret tool which I can open any lock in the school. What? Just a second! Hurry up before we get in trouble. Makoto. Can we we can go over the details when we get over the trial, okay? Right now we have to focus on surviving our current situation. Because it's probably the single most crucial moment for so far for me. For her. So strange to put it that way. That's important, right? Goodbye. Well, who's gonna die? 